Welcome back to Hannity. As the crisis at our southern border continues to spiral out of control, last week protesters successfully turned away buses filled with illegal immigrants headed for a processing center in Marietta, California. Here to debate the ongoing crisis, founder of Border Angels, Enrique Moranis is with us, as well as talk show host and Marietta residents, Douglas Gibbs. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. My Thank pleasure. You. Uh, all right. I guess, Doug, I'll start with you as a talk show host. You're hearing from all the members in, in your community. We see what's happening on television. Tell us what's going on. Well, you know, what happened with, uh, is uh, they've been for eight months bringing in uh, immigrants, but they've been doing it in the middle of the night. No one really knew. But once that number went up, uh, the people reacted. And uh, we started with a few dozen and up to a few hundred. Uh, and uh, basically, they come in with shipments, or they try to, about every 72 hours. Uh, I became aware of it uh, and started really researching it when my granddaughter, three years old, uh, was diagnosed with hand and foot disease and the doctor made the comment, hey, I don't understand, we got this sudden spike in this disease here lately. So I started uh, researching and found out that it was a direct result of the illegal immigration coming in. Well, you, don't, uh, I, um, you said your granddaughter, you don't look that old, at least on television, so, uh, but I, I hope she feels better and I hope she's <laughs> well. Uh, what about, the, was there, Enrique, there's no notice even given the mayor? that they plan to drop these people off in, in your town, your city? Well, I'm not, uh, my city is San Diego. Thank God we're not Marietta. When those, because uh, the, the people that actually turned back the, uh, the buses last Tuesday was the Marietta police and the mayor. There was about 50 protesters. They were on the sidewalk. They have every right to be. It wasn't them that stopped the buses. It was the, the Marietta police. And we all saw the worst of the American spirit with all that racism and banging the flag against the buses. I was just there as an well, observer. Well, what racism, the, sir, did you see? Uh, yeah, screaming racist taunts and, and, and making these accusations. And, and uh, like, I haven't you know, right seen now, those for tapes. Example, if I, I didn't see any of those tapes. Did you, did you hear anything, oh, Doug? I'll, 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 I'll send them to you. I'll send, okay. I'll, Sean, well, I'll listen, send them to I, you. And by the way, it's I will condemn any, Listen, I, I abhor racism, so I, I will be with you 100%. But with that Good. said, do you not understand that, you know, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people that are coming into this country, that we don't have secure borders, that are, we're a country that is bankrupt as it is and have 100 million in unfunded liabilities and $17 trillion in debt, um, would, it be, would it be lacking compassion to, to put them on an airplane and give them medical attention and reunite them with their parents? Is that a bad thing? That's, you know, that's not what's taking place. What's taking I didn't, place I didn't is ask you that. that. I, well, answer my question. What would, what would be wrong with getting airplanes, reuniting these children with their parents. What is wrong with that? That seems like a compassionate thing for, to do. The parents that live in the United States, yes, th that would be very compassionate. If they're here illegally, would it be wrong to send them back to the country from which they came from? Like Mexico, for example, puts people in jail and sends them back to Central America if they enter that country illegally. Is that lacking compassion? About a quarter of the people leaving Central America I asked you are a actually question. heading to Mexico. You gotta Sean, answer my you question. Ask a question yeah, but you've got to ask, ask the question with the right premise. No, the you premise is like Mexico, foot... Mexico deports and puts in jail. I'm it asking does, why is deport deportation... Just like the U.S. Well, wait a minute. But it, no, like... America does not deport. We only deported 1,100 kids last year, and there were hundreds, uh, tens of thousands more that came. Doug, I'll throw it to you. Is there any... To me, it seems like the compassionate thing would, to do, give people transportation home. If they need medical assistance, give it to them. But we cannot, as a country, I think, afford to take in all the people that want to come here, which we showed last night, 138 million would like to come. Well, you know, I'm sure Enrique would think I'm just some racist white guy. But, you know, my wife was born in Mexico, immigrated here as a child, uh, naturalized in 2007. She's as disgusted as I am. Uh, we're, we're not out here for some racist reason. We're trying to protect our community. We've, we, in that last load, we, a third of them had scabies. We've had uh, one report of a Border Patrol agent being tested positive for tuberculosis. This is a health issue. Then we've got these poor people who have come across the border. They're still in the same clothes. They're processed and in, put into a facility that's not designed to handle them. It's basically a concrete room with a handful of steel benches, no food, no place to rest, no way to bathe, and then they're let out uh, as homeless people out on the side of the street. And as my wife quipped last uh, Saturday, it's illegal to drop a dog off on the side of the road because it's inhumane. But yet the federal government is doing that with, with hundreds of thousands of people. And I, you know, I teach constitution classes online and locally. And for me, this is a All rule right, of Enrique. law thing. We've got a federal yeah. government coming down on us unconstitutionally. Enrique. Okay, we got about 20 seconds. We'll give you the last word, sir. 
Sure. So there's no legal way for the people to enter. There's racism in every country. Uh, there's Mexican racism. So the, the fact that the person is not white, I don't know who this person is I'm talking to here. He might be, uh, he, I'm not accusing him of anything. But we saw the worst of the American spirit. That racism is unacceptable. Here in San Diego, we were welcoming the migrants. I just gave a teddy bear to a Guatemalan child a few, about a half right. an hour ago. Enrique, la la I have released. a last question. Is, is, it, is it racist matter. in your view if people don't respect American law and American sovereignty to send them back to where they came from? Is that racist in your view? No, that's, that's not racist, but it's not compassionate. And, and it's not a human humanitarian crisis. So we your definition of compassion, response. if somebody doesn't respect our laws and sovereignty, your definition of compassion is they should be able to stay anyway, even though they broke our laws? Well, when the United States is, is consuming half of the world's illegal drugs, interv intervening in the policies that, of those countries. What does that have to do with the law? If you break the well, law, that means people there leave. consequences people leave. People don't want to die, and they're leaving. The U.S. has a lot to do with that. Wow. We need to be working together with our neighbors. We need and to be working together on this issue, not taking it out of the That doesn't mean kids. we have to absorb their, po their entire populations. We Most do have laws. America's a sovereign here. country, sir. All right, got to go. Most we got to leave it there. Are. All countries are sovereign.